Hello and welcome to the Smith Hire Preview Show. I'm Jed Mills and here's what's coming up on today's episode. We'll look back on the two recent matches here at Bloomfield Road against Fulham and Huddersfield Town. Dimitri Mitchell talks about his recovery and a possible return to action in the coming weeks. Neil Critchley looks ahead to Saturday's match at Middlesbrough. Plus Tyrese John Jules discusses his first experience involved with England under 21 and reflects on his first few months at Blackpool. Well, I'm pleased to welcome back into the studio for the first time this season, former Blackpool man Andy Priest. Well, Andy, Let's look back at the, the two games, I suppose two completely different games really. Fulham not expected to do anything, Fulham expected to be right up there by the end of the season and uh, Blackpool coming away with a, a fantastic win, first three points of the season. Yeah, what a way to get, get your first win of the season against a team that you think probably will be champions. Uh, if they're not, they're, they'll probably get promoted. So that just shows you how tight the league is, shows how capable this team is. Um, and it's just such a difficult league, the championship. And early on in the season, you're just finding your feet. And, um, you know, that performance and that result will give the team confidence. Josh Bowler as well, the, the goal scorer, has been plenty of occasions. He causes so many problems, doesn't he, on the, on the flanks, gets round players, gets through players. And, and thankfully, coming up with a goal which is just seems to have given him more confidence all the time. Yeah, uh, well, the, the goal was great. That was typical of him. I, I saw him, uh, I was here for the Coventry game, and he, he had a few of those runs against Coventry, and just the end prod just wasn't quite there. Um, but, you know, that run was, was quality and, and the finish at the end of it. And I think that's probably what he'll be looking for more to do is to, you know, to find that end finish or create those chances. But he's a danger every time he picks a ball up. Going on to Huddersfield, it, it was a case of trying to take that momentum on. 3-0 defeat, I think it was a bit flattering for Huddersfield, that scoreline. Yeah, we, the game was really tight and there wasn't anything really clear-cut, uh, no clear-cut chances. And like I said, I said, in the Championship, there's just that little bit of quality and it's a strike from the edge of the box. There were, were two or three occasions where they had strikes from the edge of the box and they got blocked or they were just wide. And they, they just seem to be just that little bit technically better. So, you know, it was a great strike um, and that changes the game um, because it was tight. Um, and I think you'll get those games, you know, where it will be that, that wonder strike or that bit of extra skill like we saw with, uh, with, uh, with Bowler at, um, uh, in the Fulham game. And that can change and, and dictate a game. Like you said, it, it, it is fine margins, isn't it? And you just look at some of the results, like Fulham got the win there, Bournemouth coming back. I mean, they're, like we said, they're two teams that are going to be right there or thereabouts. And then a defeat against Millwall, Huddersfield, uh, you know, a 3-0 defeat. And you just think, at what point is, is some sort of run going to happen? But that's the championship. By the end of the season, you can have someone who's 15th just four points away from the top six. And I suppose that's this division all over. Yeah, I think it's just a, just a bit of patience and, and, and understanding that, you know, when you go up, this is, this is a big step, a big step from League One to the Championship. And, you know, the, the, the only bigger step probably is from the Championship up. So, you know, you have to find your feet. And I haven't been miles away, you know, even in the Coventry game, with, you know, it was, it was nip and tuck, you know, and, and it's just scoring that goal at the right time. Um, and you can get on a run, two, two or three wins, um, but equally you can go to two or three defeats. So, you know, I think uh, it's just to keep level-headed at, at this point um, and in the games. There's, there's been nothing in most of the games. Do you think that's from a sort of a coach's point of view? Is that the, the most pleasing, really, that Neil Critchley will look at? Obviously disappointed, you know, some defeats, draws. Um, but do you think he'll be taking the positives that they're not getting battered, they're not miles away, they are there or thereabouts. And like you say, it is maybe just that odd goal that just changes the game. Yeah, the, the thing is you want to be competitive. You don't want to come, come in and think, oh, we're hanging on in every game. You know, we're, you know it's just by luck that, we, that we're getting wins or, or we're getting the odd point or, or we're out of games. That's not been the case. That They've been very nip and tuck the game. So, um, yeah, I think, I think when you're looking at it, you, you think, right, oh, are we okay here? 
I know the results are not coming, but you know we can, you know we can get results, um, and I think that'd be the pleasing thing for, for for Neil. Obviously, the fans will get a bit a bit nervous because because that's the, that's the way it is. But you know we're very early on in the season, and uh, you know a couple of wins and things change very quickly. Yeah, certainly do. Uh, what about the the sort of I suppose the end of the transfer window? It's only been what a couple of weeks now. Does that still make a difference? We're probably two or three, four games away from kind of knowing a settled side for this Blackpool team just because obviously you had some late signings at the end of the window as well yeah I think that makes a uh, makes a big difference um, you know those lads settling in um, and starting to get to understand each other I think it was a bit similar last year you know the momentum built and built and built um, because the players start to understand the strengths and weaknesses of each other so does so does Critch um, so you know there's still a lot of improvement in the team and, we, and you know we're still very very much in all the games thanks for tuning in to a snippet of this week's Smith's Hire preview show if you want to watch the full episode and more exclusive behind the scenes content purchase a Tangerine TV membership for just £1.99 a month head over to the Blackpool website for full details